All right, guys, I know we'll see some more people popping on here, but I want to honor our busy CEO's time. And I am so grateful to have Sharon Walsh with us tonight. She never says no, unless there is, she never says no. If, if she can't do it, she'll find a way to uh, find another date that works for, for us. But she just says yes to everything, no matter what she's going through. And she has had a go of it these last few crazy years. And she still shows up and has a way of Every call I'm on with her, most often I'll send her a text right after saying, that was amazing. I don't know how you do it. Please take care of your health. I don't want you getting sick on us. I, I worry about her because she works feverishly, feverishly to help us in the field. And she does listen to us and she does hear us. And she is on call after call after call pouring into teams. So without any further ado, I want to introduce Sharon Walsh to all of you. You know her, you love her. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thanks so much. It's a, it's a pleasure. I really enjoyed taking time out from the back-to-back -back meetings that we have going on here to Get to talk with all of you and spend some time with you. So thanks so much for inviting me, Cindy, and for continuing to, you know, really do so much for your team, hosting these great calls. And you've always been a, a big part of the event schedule going on with associate run events. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you and and I know how much you care about your team. Wanted to acknowledge you for that. Of course, then Julie, who and you two have a great working relationship, which is, hey, that's a big part of, of what makes Isogenics so special. It is. It is. I talked about that on the United uh, Leader call today. I was uh, asked to speak with uh, Kathy Savage today, and I talked about how I just love the feeling of United Leadership in our business right now. That's something I'm excited about, but we're here to talk about what you're excited about. So first of all, I want to not only acknowledge you for all that you have gone through these last few crazy years since since. COVID really, and all the backlash of that. And I want I want to know, what are you most proud of coming out of these four years? Because I'm starting to see in my team, starting to see the momentum back up. Cycles are going up again. Incomes are going up again. People are making money again. It's getting exciting now and I'm seeing it in my own business. And I know that's happening for, for people at corporate. So I wanna know, what are you most proud of coming off these four crazy years? I'm really proud of, I'm proud of a few things. I'm proud of the way, you know, we went through the transition we went through of ownership. It was a big deal for all of us because we're one of the only companies that are 20 plus years old that had their original founding owners. Many others had been sold once or twice or are publicly listed or have added different structures to their ownership over the years. So for, for our um, ecosystem here at Isogenics, that was a big change. And knowing, you know, the noise that was coming at all of you, I'm really proud of the way we held together. We went through it. We had open conversations. And I'm just proud of where we are. We're in such a great place, Cindy, that we, in an, in an economic environment that's a little uncertain, and you're seeing a lot of different companies go through many, many changes. You know, everyone looks at the big guys, Amazon and Microsoft and Google, and they've gone through some massive changes and adjustments as well. But for our company to come through all of that and to come into this time being so solid with a much improved financial position, I'm really proud of that. And the way, you know, our leadership really held together and did a wonderful job. So super proud of that, I have to say. Super proud of where we are today is as a result of the willingness of everybody to have faith and trust and, and buy in. And we're in a really great position today. So that's why you see me, you see I'm lighter, happier, relieved, because I know what's ahead for us and just how solid things are. Yeah. And I know, you know, when, when Jim and Kathy announced all this, their retiring was hard on all of us because we became part of their family and it's, it's been hard and, and also feeling like, you know, we kind of lost their vision. And so finding that, that new vision, um, one of the things I'm excited about is your call to David Woods. I have to tell you when you announced that, I was like, yes. And a lot of people didn't know he had kind of retired also. Like a lot of people didn't even 
really know that. They saw less of him, but they just assumed it was because we were having less events. But um, why don't you speak a little bit to that? And and why did you make that call to David? Did you feel that was something that we were missing and needing to? Oh, look, there's so many reasons. So when it comes to the vision, the vision of isogenics, it's like you're letting your teenager go off to college and Cindy, you let yours go off to the other side of the world. They too have to find their way and find their wings. And and that's isogenics, that we were all, that vision was always ours. And in freeing people from physical and financial pain was and becoming the largest health and wellness company was the way we expressed it. But that core legacy was something that if you truly are a legacy company, it, the company and the vision of the company has to be bigger than any human being than any one individual. It has to serve the well-being and the growth of the company when you're retired, when I'm retired, and when different generations are taking this company on. And so coming through everything that we'd, we'd been through and really setting ourselves up for growth again, what I knew for certain is that when I took over Australia, it was a teeny tiny little business doing, doing less revenue in a in a in a year than we do in a week here. And it was going backwards and things were challenging. And I we knew that we had to build the people. We had to build the culture. We had to become a magnet that people were, were attracted to. And working with David, I knew two things. He has a real passion, a genuine passion and care for isogenics and the people in it. When David took some time off, he had opportunities to go and work elsewhere and knew that he really, how could I do that? He said to me, she says, how do I do that? Knowing that all the people I really care about are here, that would feel weird, which I totally understand because I have the same, how could I go and work for another company and pretend like, oh, these products are the best. No, I, could, I could never ever see or hear myself doing that and feel good about who I was. So I knew that he shared that same view and I just don't think anyone is better than Dave at really pouring into people and casting that vision. And I knew that's what we needed. It's time to recreate the isogenic story, the vision for tomorrow, and that Dave would be a central part. And how he can connect with the growth of people is also really important because isogenics, we have incredible products. You know, our science truly does set us apart. There are very few companies who have the number of peer-reviewed scientific studies than Isagenix has, what Dr. Asiero is doing. And you see the passion in him when he talks about this product. Oh, I have to say to him, take it easy, take it easy. He gets very excited. So our product lineup has always been exceptional and the science and the way we've backed ourselves really speaks for itself. Our compensation plan is excellent. I know there's so much talk about comp plans and this company is doing X and this company is doing Y. But I can look behind. I know the math. I know how to get behind the smoke and mirrors. Our compensation plan is really healthy and fair. And then we added this team builder bonus. I know you get it, Cindy, because you're doing incredibly well. But once you understand that, guys, you get two comp plans. You get to play in two compensation plans. And one you get to play in for the first two years. And that should help you build that depth in that binary because that's the that's the recurring money. That's the money that really makes a difference long-term in your life. That's where you know that you've really got a business. So knowing that, the other part that really is important to Isogenics is the culture. The, what you and Julie do and the collaboration of leadership, how we run events, know that your people can go to those events and they're going to hear and learn all of the wonderful things about our company and feeling a part of something right now that's really positive where people can feel appreciated, they can feel valued. They get recognition. When people go off to their jobs, and many of you that go off to your jobs, it's very rare that someone pats you on the back and says, hey, you know, it's great to have you here. We really appreciate you. Well, we try and do that here, mind you, but it's just not the same. And so having this culture that people can plug into, it's invaluable. It's hard to quantify. And that's something that we really, we think the world needs it more than ever. We really want to create a healthy and happy space for people to come together and feel a part of something bigger. And I know we've been sitting on Zooms for the longest time. There's a huge hunger, a huge desire to reconnect again. And that's something that we'll be very focused on over the next 12 months. 
getting associate run events out there happening more regularly, Lisa's doing in homes and getting incredible results. So we're excited about that. Yeah, and while you're on the topic of events, I grew my business on events. So when Val and I started, you know, 12 years ago, she lives right next door to me. We did weekly events in homes and we'd never stopped doing them. Obviously, they looked a little bit- You had a great one. I saw a video. You had a great one just recently. Uh, Yeah, we've never stopped doing them. Um, But as a company, where are we headed with events? So now are, are we looking for celebration to be the same time every year? Are we sticking with that? Or do you know where we're going? And what will the event schedule look like? Because I know we're trying to really get people, you know, doing associate run events and all of that. And I'm assuming we're going to be bringing David back in. Do you know what that's going to look like quite yet? Sure. So we we launched what we called the masterclass. So the masterclass is we used to have Isogenics University and University in Action. What we're looking to do with masterclass is bring those things together because something we know has shifted and it's probably since COVID and not having the interaction is training, learning the skills. This industry and this profession, when done well, is like anything. It takes learning. It takes training. You have to learn how do I find people to talk to? What do I say when I'm talking to them? My, oh, my, how do I ask for the order or get them started? Because people are afraid of that. They see sales as a horrible thing. And it's absolutely not if done really well. If done really well, you're purely helping someone solve a problem or fill a gap. Then how do I get people started and help them do the same thing? Those skills are like anything. We learn, we go to university for three or four years here and then start working. We do training. Anyone that comes in goes on training program for 90 days in a corporate environment. But our profession is something that requires that. And that's something that we haven't seen a lot of. So we're really investing in teaching people the skills, what to say, how to say it, and how to share things with us, with their friends and family in a way that feels good for them. So that's what Masterclass will really be all about. And David will be a big part of that. Celebration, of course, once a year. We're trying to find that right time. We, July didn't work for so many people because of some holidays. Trying to find the right time. We think August September, we're trying September this year, August, September could be the right time. And I like bringing people here so they can come to head office, they can get to see who we are, they can feel proud. When you drive down the one of the busiest motorways here in Arizona, there's the Isogenics name and and building, and we all feel really proud of it. And I want you to all come and see and feel what that's like as well. So Arizona, whilst it's not ideal from a climate point of view in August, it's still an area that we think we would focus on for the next. We've tried all around the country. And Arizona seems to make the most sense. That's our headquarters. So we're debating, we're looking at different times, but next year it'll be a similar time. August in Arizona will be our target. Okay, awesome. And then what I'd love to hear you uh, speak a few minutes on is where you feel we're headed product-wise this year. I know Dr. Plant has talked and teased about a couple different things, another tier one product uh, like the collagen. What do we have to look forward to as far as products for the rest of the year? You have a lot to look forward to. So from a product point of view, obviously our core products and our science is all around what we do to optimize people's well-being and health and understanding the, the impact of high quality protein on your body, how you optimize that, how that sets you up for true longevity, manage those different periods in your life is really important. So protein is an area that we're continuing to focus on, ways to change it up, be able to enjoy some sweet treats or some savory treats or even just drink a clear protein that's fruit flavored. If you don't feel like straight after the gym, you don't want a a creamy kind of shake. But the big focus for us this year is moving forward when it comes to nutrients and vitamins. So we have always given you and putting to our products the very best of what's available. And most of the vitamins that we consume are in some way, um, they've been they're synthetic in that they have been in a lab they've been interfered with to create a vitamin that we can digest and get benefits from over time and you see that in the whole blend shake there is now ways to extract vitamins and minerals in their natural form from organic fruits and vegetables 
and put them into the shake. The whole blend shake has that today. We're producing a full vitamin supplement, 100% of your daily dose that is 100% naturally sourced from organic fruits and vegetables. We're putting that, we're looking at, at how we bring the best of that into our shake. So we have one great shake instead of whole blended classic, bringing the best of those two together and having all natural vitamins because that's an area we want to continue to lead on. So most of the vitamin companies, turn them over and have a look. You'll see them in brackets described as, it'll, it'll say vitamin K or vitamin D, and you'll see in brackets a long name. That means it's a synthetic vitamin. It's been created or altered so that you can consume it and get the benefits of a vitamin. Not bad. There are some that if you have the MHTFR gene, you can't process some of those sy synthetic vitamins. But now we know we can access these products, these great ingredients, and that's going to be a big play for us this year. So you'll hear about that. That's a big celebration drive, the all-natural nutrients that will be across the line. That'll, so we'll update cleanse, we'll update ionics, all the good stuff stay, staying. We're just going to change the synthetic out for all-natural whole food vitamins. We're excited about that. It's going to give us a great story to tell. And, of course, we're continuing to work on fun things for the seasonal campaigns. Other products, we're looking at colostrum and the true value of that. You know, where do we take collagen and what do we do next with that in that space from a, from a beauty space? And the hyaluronic acid, the hydrate with hyaluronic acid is a wonderful companion to our collagen. So we're going to continue down that path. Very nutrition focused, always quality and always scientifically tested. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. And then how about where, um, where are we heading business wise? I know we've already, we announced a new enhancement today to the TBB. Big one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So speak a little bit to that because we've got some new people on the call. We've got some leaders that have been with me almost since the beginning and some since the very beginning, but we've got some new people too. So let's speak a little bit about the excitement of what we have to come business wise. Uh, let's talk about that. So the comp plans saying it's it's proven, it's tested, it's robust, and it's healthy. We added, of course, the 20% PID. That's been a huge enhancement for everybody. But what we've done with the Team Builder Bonus, we, we saw that we had different types of bonuses that were no longer performing. They weren't, they weren't working with the business. And there was one gap in that if you're winning in, in bonuses and incentives, your cycle should be growing. And we saw that when people were earning the incentives, their cycles weren't growing. That's not a good thing. So we spent some time developing this team builder bonus. The key of network marketing is you don't build it alone. The, the mantra that you hear spoken is you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And that is key. If you're working all by yourself, then I want you to take a minute and say, okay, then I'm not quite doing things to the best advantage of yourself. You have to be working with others. That's the way the binary works. It's called a team compensation plan. So we built the team builder bonus, focused on four levels, your four personally enrolled team. And we did that because we know that when you're working on uh, in that fashion, thinking about your four PET, your cycles will, will work, it'll come together and you'll learn both. So what we've just announced in the team builder bonus is that your first enrollments, this was last month's enhancements, when you enroll someone, that BV now drops into your one PET that is going to bolster up your earnings in the first part. But if you were a paid as executive, you were earning four levels down on customers, any customer in your organization that had been ordering, they'd been with you for 91 to 360 days. We're going to expand that out another whole year. So you are going to be earning volume for customers in your organization that have been with you for 91 days to 730 days, two years essentially. Here's what the modeling showed us. And this is why this is very significant. We saw increases in people's earnings doing exactly the same thing. They went up by 25 to 30%, 25 to 30%. We see people now that are earning over $11,000 in the team builder bonus per month in the team builder bonus. And that's just not the people in Montreal. Yes, they're doing very, very well. Cindy's doing very, very well. A number of people are doing very, very well. And we saw that, that if they maintain their paid as exec, with this enhancement we made, we're taking checks from 1100 to 1900 
we're seeing those types of jumps. On average, people got an increase. We're getting a $300 increase just by that change. So we're pouring money back into the field because we want you to win. It's the most important thing, but it has to make sense, right? It has to make sense. And now I feel very, very bullish about the team builder bonus. We promised you would build a foundational bonus. So we started it for three months. We learnt. We said, okay, now we can make two more enhancements, get people's earnings up again. We've got one more up our sleeve, but we'll probably sit with this for a couple of months and see how it goes. And then we're really focusing on that three-star destination. Paid as three-star is going to be the next level that we'll probably add some enhancements to. So that'll take a little while, but that's an area we really want people to focus on. Get to exec by all means, but set your goal. If you're not a paid as three-star, set that as a target goal because at Celebration, we're having some special recognition, special um, reception for our paid as three stars who hit that. We'll be announcing that soon. And then moving forward, that'll be a very key opportunity for us to bring you in, do some additional training and help you take your business to the next level. So that's something to really focus on and write that down as a goal if you're not a paid as three. That's awesome. Okay. So another question, I actually had a leader call today and I asked my leaders, you know, what do they want to hear from you? And um, Tiffany had a, a great, um, a great question I want to ask you. And that is with the influx now with these investors and all the money they've invested into Isogenics, we've had a little money to be able to do some of these things that you're now speaking of. Um, where is your focus now? Like wh what are your top priorities for this next year when it comes to, you know, being able to use? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, firstly, it's, Getting a core team around us. So bringing David back was a big step. Look, we've got a great new CFO, Simon. I love him. So I've got a great new CFO. He's key in looking after so much for us. And, and he has some great experience in the industry that's really, really helpful. We're looking at building out our, our marketing effort, our digital skill set, um, and also technology. This is a little of a this is a longer horizon, but this is an area where we've we've poured money in the past. It's been a bit hit and miss, I have to be honest with you. And we know that getting great access to reporting, making it so simple for your customers to order. I want to be able to push out when we're launching a promotion. I want to be be able to push that out to you and say, hey, here's a seasonal shake. If you're a paid as executive, get it first. Hit nat, hit go. We want to be able to do those types of things. So we've engaged with one of the board members. She's an incredible lady. She's the COO of the Fabletics Group. So Fabletics is a pleasure wear. They own scrubs. They own a lot of different uh, clothing apparel companies. But prior to that, she was with a direct selling company. She has a great, she's not a, a techie person herself, but she has a great oversight of technology. She's connected us with an outside group who we've engaged with, and they're now working with our IT team to build a whole roadmap, a roadmap that gives us flexibility with a couple of goals in mind. A, a customer should be able to do everything on their phone, super simple, including a loyalty program, a referral program, all those standard things you would think. You as an associate should be able to send me a link that's really easy for me to buy. You should be able to see your back office. And that is the big focus for us. So we've got this 20-year-old system all wrapped up in a legacy system. We're trying to pull it apart so that we have lots of flexibility so that you have, you and your customers have a much um, improved experience. And also the web, website, when they come to navigate your duplicated website, who is Isogenics? Let them understand that. Let's take them on that story. Let's share that great content with them. So that's a big part of our digital play. It's content, it's breaking up landing pages so that when you tell me about the 30-day program, I hit that page. I've got the scientific studies. I have a video to tell me all about it. It just has to really enhance the way we do business. We believe, guys, that we are the OG. That's the original when it comes to influencers, affiliates. We have that opportunity. We've just got to be able to tell that to the world in a way that people can hear it and can hear it right now. So we're very, very bullish about that. That's going to take a lot of time, a lot of money, but I'd say 18 months to two years. We'll be able to share a roadmap with you in about four months. 
to show you where we're going and what that all looks like for you, because that's an area that's been a point of frustration for all of us for many, many years. So I'm excited about that. That's great. And I'm going to wrap it up. One more question. And then I want you to, you know, leave everyone with your best advice on how we can really rock the rest of this year out. But um, what I wanted to ask you about was, I know we kind of took a little bit of a break from incentives and trips, um, but now we're back with this um, welcome aboard mm -hmm. and we have several team members here waiting for, I think it's Friday is our announcement. Are we finding out on Friday for sure? Yes. Yeah. The welcome, the welcome home became welcome aboard, which was a lovely twist. <laughs> yep. So what do we have to look forward to in that category? Are we going to be doing more promotions and incentives, trips, travel for those that, you know, really like the, the carrot dangled? Absolutely. We're very mindful. Look, I'm very mindful about the discounting, the 10% off that we have to ensure that, of course, there's a few times a year that that makes sense. Our birthday, we should celebrate that for all of our existing customers. And I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we had our second best day of the year on the close of our birthday anniversary, only second to the mocha, mocha, you say, right? Mocha. Yeah, mocha. mocha. And cookies and cream launch was our biggest day of the year. But that that closing weekend for your March anniversary campaign was, was fantastic. And so we'll do that a couple of times a year, but we have to be very mindful that we don't become, you know, those companies, everything's always on sale. That's not who we are. We have great quality products. But yeah, we have a wonderful trip. We have a wonderful trip. Two tiers. First one would be for the top, let's say, 25 to a beautiful European destination. And then the next tier would be an all-inclusive, all beautiful location closer to home. It won't be Europe. It'll be like Mexican Riviera or Costa Rica style that we just did recently. So two tiers, wonderful trip, trip incentive. Again, the team build a bonus. You've got to learn about it because that will be the foundation. Then we'll add a few other few other criteria that we learned about from Welcome Aboard. That will be launching very soon thereafter, so keep your ears out for that. The other promotions we're looking to do are things with the Team Builder bonus. How do we push more money out? How do we create a wonderful recognition program for a three-star and above so that if you hit paid as three-star a couple of times during the contest period, we bring you in, you have a wonderful experience here at head office, and you get some best training. David Wood, some of our very top leaders here teaching you how to take your business because you've got a you've got a sizable business. How do you take it to them? So that's going to be a big focus for us as well. Um, all of that in the back end of this year. Okay, awesome. And as as uh, you end here or your time with us, what parting words can you give us, Sharon, um, action wise that we should be really focused on? I yep. know TB, but um, you know, that that can help the new person here and the leaders, the leaders that, you know, I'm so grateful every day. I thank God for these leaders that are still with me 12 years later. Um, a lot of people have walked away, have done something different. And I've got a core group of amazing, amazing leaders that I'm just so grateful for. So I'd love for you to give advice to them, but also to the new people, to the new people. Yeah, let's start with just just today. Coming through the pandemic, we saw behaviours change across the world, right? We had work from home environments. We had a lot of people staying home and realising, man, I don't need to be in the grind anymore. I like this lower pace. And that's a wonderful thing. And, and people started to look for different ways to earn income. That really plays to our strength. The focus on health and well-being has definitely, there's a trending book called Forever Strong. It's the isogenic science. It's a different scientist that worked with Dr. Asiero's um, advisor, that, but it, it pretty much tells the isogenic story. So I was super excited to, to see that and see how well that's doing. But one of the biggest shifts we're seeing is in the, the drive for people to come back together face-to-face, -to -face, that people are Zoomed out and they're lacking connection. They're really lacking connection. And you just, you can sit on Zoom and zone out I live, you know, I know, I watch you all on those calls. I'm just joking. But people don't get that same connection. And when you do, everyone got caught up in, we have to be great on social media. Social media has become media. It's not social media anymore. It really is media. Everything you're looking at is curated. It's targeted. It's guided. It's advertising. Influencers, do you really think they're showing you their real life? It's their highlight reel. Again, targeted media. That's what it is. 
and where we're seeing success. We've got some, look, like everything, people do well, they take their foot off the gas and the business slows down a little bit, but we're seeing these, these groups doing incredibly well. And the group in Montreal is a fantastic example. They're doing exactly what you all did. For those of you who've been around, they are building event-based. They are not social media recruiters. They are event-based builders. And not only are they hosting events, but their entire team is. They have about 28 events in their organization in any given week, in tiny spaces, in little office spaces, in homes, in cafes, in back rooms that they can rent out from their, where they work. Those events and bringing people together are the most powerful. Cindy did one recently. How many enrollments came from that one in-home, Cindy? We had five that night, but I think a couple more either did or are still coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Five that night. Five that night. Lisa did an in-home in New Jersey. She walked down the street when she was bored introducing herself to the shop owners two weeks in a row. A couple of a, a, a couple of like seven enrollments, then a couple of consultants because they brought some people next week. And I know people are looking for a magic bullet. What's the formula, Sharon? What do I punch on social media? What do I say on a Zoom? I promise you, it's getting into those interpersonal connections now, face-to-face, calling someone personally instead of the group Zoom means so much more to people now. There's incredible statistics showing the impact of loneliness on a person's well-being. It's the equivalent of smoking cigarettes. Can you believe that? That loneliness, the impact of loneliness on your well-being is the equivalent of smoking. They say 15 cigarettes. Oh, and at any given point in time, 60% of the population, American Psycho- Psychology Association, 60% of the population feels lonely. That is something I'd be looking to, to help people with. Get connected, invite them to your home, come together, do small meetings. You don't have to spend a lot of money. The more people, because it's what happens when you greet them at the door, you're sitting together, they're watching Cindy tell her story, they're hearing Julie talk, they're thinking, oh, these are all real people like me. It changes everything, changes everything, and it's the way they feel. So I would encourage you, the more you can get one-on-one with people, personal with people on the phone, come together in a room, the better your business will be. You shouldn't do this business alone. The sooner you're standing up in your living room and and telling the story, the sooner your business will grow. These are things that I've learned that are still true over time. And everywhere, Australia, they've returned to growth. Again, little pockets of meetings in, in Australia happening, bringing people together. They're the ones, they're the teams that are growing the most. Here in the US, everywhere I see that, where we're seeing pockets growing the most. This is a profession and it has a process and a skill set. And too often we join and we think, well, I talked to two people, why aren't I earning a lot of money? Or once upon a time I used to do meetings, now I'm not doing a whole lot, but I want my people to grow, but I don't want to do it. It's not a do as I say type of business. It truly is a do as I do type of business and setting the example. You're a wonderful example of that, Cindy, but everyone has to do that in their own little way. So I would give you that encouragement and just know that, we have so much to give that people are interested in. It's all about sharing it with them and, and not assuming that they already know because they don't know how the money works. They don't know what how they really will feel on the products. So I would encourage you to find your language. And if you don't know what to say, reach out to the ladies here and the people in your organization that can help you and run together. It's much more fun when you're running together than when you're really trying to do it all on your own. This is a business about working together collaboratively, and I would really encourage you to find an accountability partner, find someone to run and work with, and pour as much time into them as you do into your own business, because that's how this thing grows. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much for giving your time tonight for us. Uh, You guys blow up the chat. Um, Let Sharon know what this call meant to to you and thanking her for her time. And I'll get you everyone's comments, Sharon. Um, Stay on the line, guys. I have a couple of quick things for you. But Sharon, thank you so much for pouring into the team tonight. Been a pleasure. Thank you all so much for jumping on the call. Take care. Have fun. We adore you. Thank you. Bye. All right, team. I hope any shout outs from the call. Anybody want to unmute and tell me what you thought of, of the call? I thought it was amazing. Um, 
And I've been in sales for 46 years. So I'm looking for that unique selling prospect when I sell. And she mentioned it. It had to do with um, synthetic versus real. We got to put a really good line together because that will resonate with people. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, you think of putting something synthetic in your body versus something like this collagen or something. I think that could be a real game changer. Just my thought. Absolutely. And that's why Dr. Plant's been so, so excited about this. And I missed the meeting. Julie was actually there, the mastermind where he presented this and the whole concept. And um, everybody, everybody has been so fired up waiting for it. And it sounds like celebration. Is that how you took it, Julie? Celebration? Yeah. Yeah. And what's really cool is that they're going to give the the line of vitamins ahead of time to a certain group of people so that they can use them for about a month before, um, before the launch, which is amazing. The other thing they're going to do is they're going to have a page much like the um, collagen page that we had. Remember leaders like Kathy Savage and Lynn and a couple of other people started that collagen page. And that's what really catapulted us into the collagen era. And they're going to do the same thing with this vitamin line. So be looking for that this summer. You can add people to it. There will be content. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out ahead of time so that we are prepared for the big launch. Yeah, very, very exciting. And I just want to end. Anybody else have anything they want to share before I end on one last thing? Anyone else? All right. Good call. She was, she's always, she always gets me fired up. Um, I just want to recognize our enrollers from last week because um, when Sharon said that, I thought we did have a really great enrolling week. So I just wanted to shout out everyone that enrolled over two people. Um, we had Gina Gillen, Helena Mills, Dana Randazzo, um, had three, Lori Olson had three, Lisa Maciel had three, Erica Zinman had four, and Ann Baranti had eight. Um, that's just last week, and I had several people that had won. So congratulations to you guys. That was a great promotion. The week before was also a really high enrolling week for us. So kudos to you all. We'll see you next week. Next week, I have another amazing guest um, for you. So stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week. But have a fabulous rest of your evening, everyone. Thank you. Bye.